Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jose Vega and in this episode, we're gonna be talking about perspective and how we can set it up in Photoshop. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and let's quickly set up a horizon line because that's what, we, what we're gonna use for setting up our vanishing points. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna click and drag from the rulers and then I'll get this guideline here in Photoshop. And what I like about this is because uh, it goes beyond the canvas here. So if I wanted a vanishing point outside here, I can I have a guideline where I can place it and then create my lines for my perspective. Um, so uh, now that I set that up, I'm gonna keep it here, uh, low in the canvas and to set up the perspective, we're gonna to go to our polygon tool. So polygon tool here. If the short, uh, if you want the shortcut, it's gonna be U for the shortcut. And we're gonna make sure that here is in pixels and uh, opacity 100, of course, and sides 100. Now, once you have that, we're gonna to go to the settings here, drop down, and make sure that star is enabled and index sides by 99%. Right. So how this works is we're just gonna click and drag and I'm gonna actually make this on a new layer because I want to have um, a little bit more control over it. If I wanna turn it on or off or put a color in it, I'm just gonna click and drag and I get this star-shaped uh, pixels in my canvas, right? So um, what we're gonna do is uh, wherever you decide where your vanishing point is, that's what you're gonna click and drag. So yeah, let's say I wanted to make a one point perspective here in the middle. I can place it on top of my guideline, click and drag and release. And then you get your, um, your perspective grid, right? So now, um, you know, you can, you can place your architecture, your elements in here based on this, um, vanishing point. If you want it more, the cool thing about this is like, if you're actually painting this line, so, if I wanted to have a vanishing point out here, I can just click and drag. And then maybe another one inside the canvas here, click and drag. Now I'm getting something a little bit more interesting. And if I wanted to add a little bit of distortion um, to the camera, maybe I can place one up here, click and drag. And now we're adding a little bit of distortion to the camera. Um, so it was like a wide lens um, shot here. So, and you know, you have this on your own layers, you can put them on different layers, however you want to. But um, I think this is a very easy and quick way to set up your perspective. All right, guys, so that was it for today's episode. I really, really hope that you guys learn how to set up your own perspective grids in Photoshop. And if you got some value out of it, please feel free to subscribe, hit the like button. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below so I can actually address them. If not, I'll see you guys in the next one.